water everywhere. As it was pouring into the backyard, it was going around each side of our house. The gushing water also flooded streets and cars parked along the curb. Josh Petrie's home sits in the lowest spot on the block. So when the water main near 45th and Perry broke, this was the result. Crawl space is completely full of water all the way to the brim. He feared his dog Jet would be electrocuted as the water rose. The electricity was still on, but we were getting some flickering and stuff, so it was quite a quite a scary situation. Petrie was able to get Jet out in time and take him to a friend's house. Fox 31 reported another water main break in Edgewater in early March. Denver Water tells the problem solvers the area is not seeing an increase in water main breaks, but this is part of operating a water system with more than 3,000 miles of pipe. Breaks can happen due to the age of the pipe, how corrosive the soil is, water flow and temperature changes. Residents are scrambling to restore the damage as soon as possible. There would probably will be a headache, but it'll pay off at the end. Consumer experts say the most important thing a homeowner can do ahead of time is check their insurance policy. I think you have to have a special policy in order to get flood insurance.